Alrighty then. Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Dragon Quest. Last time where we left off, uh, we met the homie Eric and partied up with him. And now we're gonna go and go back to one of his hideouts and get some of the loot he says he needs before we go back to our hometown in Cobblestone and protect him from the bad guys. So when I left off, um, I just leveled up to, actually no, I was still level 4, but I went back uh, to the house to heal and then I got into a fight and that pushed me to level 5. And at level 5 I learned heal and then I also got something, I got skill points that I was able to use. Um, I don't know how I access said um, skill points. Oh, character builder? Oh yes, here it is. The character builder is where you can use skill points to teach your party members new spells and abilities, and also improve their attributes. When you unlock a particular panel, the one surrounding it will become available, expanding your options even further. Think carefully about what you want to unlock and when, and work your way up to ultimate abilities. Alright, sounds pretty nice. Okay, so let's focus on us. Um... Okay, so we have like four different trees to work towards, it seems. So we got swords, great swords, sword mastery, and then luminary. All right. Hmm. And then if we press skill somewhere, I guess we see what the skills are. All right. Okay. Um. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know where we want to go towards. Because these things cost. Oh wow. So the only thing we get get right now is great sword guard, which it costs three. Or flame slash. What do I want to go for? Yeah, let, let's save it for ours because really I don't even know what to go for. Um, what can we get for Eric? Eric uses knives, so let's focus on that. Um, yeah, let's give him the first one. Let's increase his attack power when wielding knives. Okay, well done. Alright, let's continue on. Welcome to downtown Heliodor, home to rogues, ruffians, and all my other favorite kinds of people. About a year ago, me and Dirk, my partner in crime, managed to uh, acquire one of the royal family's most precious possessions, the Red Orb. They got wise and pulled me in eventually, but not before we'd stashed it somewhere safe so we could pick it up later. Right down there is the biggest, stinkingest garbage pile in all of Heliodor. And buried the orb slap bang in the middle of it. After all, no one would ever think of looking for it there. Where criminal genius is, I tell you. Time to go liberate that loot to the garbage pile. Oh, the garbage pile! Up. Oh. What you guys see, boy, and Eliador, the grimy little secret the posh folks <laughs> over the wall don't want you to know about. You ain't from around here, eh? Well, if you ain't got a reason to stick around, I wouldn't bother. What's that? <laughs> you're looking for the to Oh my god, I don't like these people's lingo. Well, you're in the right place, old town, for rubbish. There's a great big pile of it right in the middle. Yeesh. Yeah, Alright. 
Oh, I actually have a weapon shop. You got any good swords? Oh, I accidentally pressed Dan Copper Sword. Um, yeah, everything's expensive. But Bronze Knife would only increase your attack power by two. Yeah. Okay. Now, how do we find said big garbage pile? Why is there an action here? This is the spot. Keep a lookout, oh, okay? okay? I'm going to grab the loot. Now. It was around here somewhere. It's definitely here. I'm a thousand percent sure. Uh, it's not here. <laughs> oh my god. So it wouldn't be here after a year. Me and Dirk were the only ones who knew where it was. Wait a minute. That rat! He must have done the dirty on me and taken it for himself! Damn it! I should have known! A thieving little... Get my hands on it! I'm gonna find him. And you're gonna help me. Okay. The inn we used to crash at is just over there. Come on, it's the only one with an upstairs. You can't miss it. Oh, what a lovely place. <laughs> it looks like there's only one room. Also, if you guys couldn't tell, I changed the music's menu. Or, the men music's menu, what? Menu music. That's not even the right word either. The game's music from Symphonic. Kinda not liking it though. This old place hasn't changed a bit. Back in our thieving days, Dirk and me used to lay low here whenever things got hairy. Ruby? Ruby, you there? It's me, Eric. There's something I need to ask you. Ruby runs the place. Looks like she's not around, but if anyone knows where Dirk is, it's her. Which means we'll have to go find her. Sheesh, so here's fetch the quest, baby. There's a tower they use to look out for fires. You're going to climb up there and keep an eye out for them. I'll check of other spots. Don't worry, you can't miss her. She's the only redhead in town. Alright, we're looking for gingers. Bet! Alright, so there's the guard post. Okay, so we have to climb up here, and I cannot go through that area. Is there a ladder? Oh, there's a ladder. So shady. What a weird combination of events. But okay, I am blame I and I can't jump off, alright. Uh, can't find Ruby anywhere. How about you? Any luck? You saw her heading back to the inn? Great! Let's head over there and find out what she knows. Alright. 
Um, also, I was gonna check something real quick. Um, subtitles are. Hold on, let's claim special rewards. What's this? Okay, get all these? Oh, I do get all these. Ooh, we cheating over here. I don't know what any so we got. You can now choose the Dragon Quest uh, 6, 7, 8 soundtrack as music. When you're outside of battle. Oh, that's cool. So we got Badana, Togs, Seed of Skill, Pep Pop. And then... Baby Boar Hat and Costume. But apparently for someone named Veronica. Let's swap over to 8 Music. But also, let's change it to some pop because I don't, I don't like synthesize. Actually, I kind of wanted to check out what I also just got. Okay, a pep pop. Uh, immediately pops all the active allies. Oh, okay, and then this one gives extra skill points. Oh, wow, that is very useful. But not needed right now. Back to the end. Hello, lady. Well, if it isn't my favorite landlady. Oh. Welcome to our rumble. <gasps> Strike a light! If it ain't me favorite little tea leaf! Last I heard, they'd locked you up and thrown away the key. Hang about. You've gone and escaped, ain't ya? You and your friend here are the fugitives everyone's talking about. Well, I know not to stick me big nose in where it ain't wanted. You always did like to sail close to the wind. Don't worry, I won't be here long. I just need to know where Dirk is. Have you seen him? Dirk, eh? Now there's a name I ain't heard in a while. Didn't he open some fancy shop up by the castle? Yeah, that was it. Raking in the cash he is, or so they say. That can't be right. The rent up there is crazy. Where would he find the money? Wait a second. He sold it, didn't he? The rat sold the damned orb. Look, in this part of town, you don't go asking too many questions. You know that. If you want more, you'll have to get it from the horse's mouth. You're right. Thanks, Ruby. I appreciate it. We'll get out of your hair. All right. Uh, that no good traitor! I'll bet he sold me out and sold the ore, and also he could move up in the world. Well, I'll get what I'm owed. You'll see. <sighs> but we'll need to get past that sentry if we're gonna head uptown and find him. Wait, isn't he... remember hearing that one of the guards is terrified of dogs. I think it was him. Maybe we can borrow one of somebody. Let's go find a dog here. Yeah. Oh look, right here. Child, we're gonna steal your pet for a second. Hehe, <laughs> nice one, Bullseye. That great big coward of a guard nearly weed himself <laughs> when he saw ya. What do you think you staring at, eh? Get lost. You want you wanna borrow me dog? 
You're Arvin a giraffe, ain't you? <laughs> can't. Can't read this, my brain hurts. <laughs> Bullseye, you're is a lone wolf like me. E don't take kindly to strangers. Ah, but you know what? Some holy water a a buzzberry or two might change his mind. What? oh my god, <laughs> I don't want to. Go find some berries, that's all I need to know. Okay. And say old water buzzberry. Okay, so you want water and berries. Alright, seems simple enough. Okay, so that's an armor shop. You're useless to me. And here's an item shop. Oh, this person's dying. Coffin already. She wants the. I think she just wanted one. I think that was... Because I think I already have the... Yeah, I already have the berry, so I just need to buy the water. Let's go back. Child, I got your stuff. Yep, 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 I know. Yeah, let's see now. Yeah, that looks like what I asked for. Blimey, you actually bought it, Mug. <laughs> mug? Excuse me? Hey, Bullseye, it's your favorite. Buzzberries. Ah! <laughs> Why do I speak? I'm just, you guys are just gonna read this. Now the monster is still clear when you go playing outside town. Woof, woof. Don't look at me. Bullseye looks after me, and I look after him. Anyway, a promise is a promise. He's yours for a bit. Look after him, right? Bullseye, listen, boy. Go and play with the nice man for a while, okay? Woof, woof, arf, arf. All right, Bullseye. Are you following me? Yes, you are. All right, Bullseye. Let's do this. Leads to the part of town. My job is to protect respectable people from being bothered by rabble and riffraff. In other words, you. Hmm. Ah! No, no, not the dog. Anything but that. Ah! <laughs> Worked like a charm. Now to head up to where all the rich folks live and find out what the heck Dirk thinks he's up to. Alrighty. Mm, mm, mm. Um. Go through here. How do we get to it's inside? Yes. What's that? You're looking for a shop run by someone called Dirk? Hmm. I got a feeling there's someone by that name who lives in a big mansion by the castle. If you're heading up to that part of town, take my advice and use the rope up on the roof of this house. You'll get there much quicker. Just one word of advice, you jump to get up there. And you can do that by pressing B. I'm guessing this is where I jump? Good. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay. Alright. Made it to mansions. Now, where would I go? Oh, Dirk Shop's this one. 
nice place you got here. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to browse. You'll find we only stock the very finest wares. <gasps> That's good. Because I'm looking for something very special indeed. Happen to have any orbs in stock? Uh, Eric! Long time no see, old pal. <laughs> Eric! My, my brother! My compadre! My, my partner in crime! It's, oh, it's really oh, you! Large as life and oh, fighting fit! I'm so oh, happy to see you! You have no shame, huh? Get your oh my god, this is naughty. <laughs> You always That's were full of it, Dirk. But this really takes the cake. Admit it. You sold me out and sold the orb so you could buy this place, didn't you? I never. I promise you, I never sold you out. I was worried sick about you. I only opened this place to try and help you. Oh, yeah. And how does that work, exactly? How does you opening this place and lining your pockets while I rot in jail help me? Look, I was never much of a thief, you know that. But it turns out I know how to sell stuff. I got a gift, even if I do say so myself. <sighs> when you got nabbed, I spent months racking my brains for ways of busting you out. I couldn't stand the thought of you being in there. In the end, I realized I'd have to give up the orb. I took it to the king, told him I found it somewhere, and pocketed the reward. Then I used the cash to open up the shop here, and poured all my profits into bribing the guards up at the castle so they'd let you escape. Hmm, now that you mention it, I did think it was weird they never tossed my cell the whole time I was digging that hole. Exactly! I was paying him to turn a blind eye, weren't I? <laughs> <sighs> okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I doubted you, partner. That's the spirit! Eric, old pal, it's so good to have you back. But I need that orb. And now we don't even know where it is. <laughs> oh, yes, we do. Right this way, gentlemen. God, what is such a duo? I want to leave. Am I supposed to leave? I went out the front door from why I ran this. Time. So, where is it? After I handed over the orb, I made sure to keep my ears to the ground about where it ended up. I knew it was important to you, see? Well, a little bird tells me that Endrick and his men took it to the King's Barrow, and it's been under lock and key there ever since. The King's Barrow, huh? Mm hmm That's southeast of town. Same direction as Cobblestone. Which means we can kill two birds with one stone. You coming, Dirk? A little adventure for old time's sake? Yeah. Sorry, no can do. I've got a shop to run and I'm a married man these days. Married? Wow, you really have changed. Well, you always said you wanted to settle down and maybe go into business someday. I'm happy for you. 
We'd better get going. Take care, Dirk, and thanks for everything. You too, old pal. Be lucky, eh? And don't you two go doing anything I wouldn't do. The south gate is crawling with guards. We won't be walking out that way. And Hendrix's men are too uptight to take bribes. Guess we'll have to go the long way round. If we skirt round the hills to the south, we should be able to approach the King's Barrow from the other side. We can drop into Cobblestone on the way. Okay, let's head back downtown. Watch yourselves out there, eh? They don't call that forest round there the Mangle Grove for nothing. There's plenty going there and never come out. <laughs> It'll take more than a few kids' stories to scare us off. And besides, it's the only way to get there. All right, cool. So we have to go. Okay, so we'd have to go back to the right. All right. I was expecting Dirk to be like a sleaze bag, but you know what? He's okay. Ain't, ain't top ten, but you know, he, he's in neutral zone. So I think. And I, can I not drop? She's trying to finesse the system here, and it won't let me finesse. Actually, gonna have to jump down. I'm really liking this nighttime music. Really common. Out of my way, kick it. So I made it back downtown, so we're yeah, so we're just gonna go back the way we came. From Erica's making it sound like nothing too complicated. Actually go check out the armory first. Um Probably should give it to Eric, but he has more defense from us and we don't take that much damage in battle. I'm just horrible, aren't I? Um, how do I leave? I keep on going. Any sign of them? Nothing. Let's search the town again. <sighs> Look at all those lights. They're pretty keen to find us, huh? We'd better steer clear of Heliodor until the heat dies down. All right, through the Mangle Grove and onto Cobblestone. Let's do this. Alrighty then. So how do I get to side of Mango Grove? Just follow this path. Alright. Do a little cutting. Hibiscus, nice. Oh my god, there's a lot of enemies. And I can get through. Alright. Um, I'm guessing Fizz will work on this dump. 11 points, not bad. And it's probably with one shot. Yep, nice. Too easy. Ooh, nice shot. 
leveled up. Uh, no, we'll save points for now. Oh no, they're shooting fireworks again. Right, the Mangle Grove. Is there a shop like right out here? Oh wow. From what the guard was saying, he was like, this can be like a death trap, but. What is this, like a goblin? Oh, dancing devil. And he got one shot. Okay. Thanks. We're really making this place feel like it's gaoey. Okay, and then how do I get to cobblestone from here? I need to... I feel like I might need to go take that left path, but... Um... Maybe we just have to cut all the way through straight down. The frick kind of monsters is that? I want to fight it. Blips. <laughs> oh, that is freaking hideous. Ugh. Oh, I just kissed me. Oh, I got cooties. Oh, I need to disinfect myself. No, 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 stop it. Oh, campfire. Safe to passage. Look at that! A campsite! And just when we needed one. It's still a fair way to cobblestone. Let's rest up for the night. I still can't get over old Dirk. He didn't just go straight, married, shop in the best part of town. He went straighter than straight. Just like that. We used to be thick as thieves. <laughs> Literally. We travel the world, always on the hunt for loot. Ah, those were the days. Oh, speaking of which... I just thought of something we acquired back then that might come in handy. Yeah, I've decided. I'm giving it to you. You'll love it. We sure did when we got our hands on it. Behold, the Fun Size Forge. Pop a few raw materials on top, bash them with the Porter Pounder, and bops your uncle. New equipment. And I'm not just talking steel swords and the like. Wooden boomerangs, a natty new jerkin. You name it, this thing can make it. Sweating over a hot forge was never exactly my style. But I have a feeling you'll get more use out of it than I ever did. You can't just shing stuff together willy-nilly, though. You'll need the recipe for the piece of equipment you want to make. Here's a little something to get you started. You should strike while the iron's hot. Beginner's Guide to Forging. I know to make bronze swords and divine daggers. There are recipes hidden all over the place. It, treasure chests and bookshelves are always a good bet. Keep an eye out and you're sure to find some beauties. Alrighty, here, let me give you some ingredients. You'll need to make recipes, I'll give you them. 